level quilts? I do. Let's see if we can cut these suckers up and do something cool with this. Bring us here and my outdoor patio situation is looking a little rough. A friend of mine gave me this vintage sofa a few years back. They wanted me to cut it up, to demo it, to make it into one of my wood benchy dilly things that I do with sofas very often. I just couldn't do it to this one. I have these old quilts. I don't know about you guys, but I love old quilts. And when I say old, don't get me wrong, like I'm not destroying a piece of art. These aren't like handmade quilts that are old. These are old quilts. We gotta get all these out. Oh my God, upholstery nails everywhere and all over the back and sides and bottom. I just started this project and I'm already thinking, what do I get myself into all the time with these sofa, chair, up to recycle things but this is on my patio this is where i sit with my girls this is where i sit with my husband this is where we spend our summers enjoying ourselves so it's going to be again a labor of love and hopefully well worth it to remove all these upholstery tacks trimming guy off here so that we can reupholster this Well, that took a bit, but we got it done. Now we're gonna paint the entire frame using Cherry Picked. It's a beautiful plum color by DIY. And using my R14, my Klingon brush, we're gonna get one coat coverage. I'm gonna use one hour enamel in clear satin. This is the most durable top coat there is. And being that this is outside, two coats of this are gonna protect it from all the weather. All right, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. A Couple different things are going on right now. It's time to start cutting up these quilts and let's just be real. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I seriously don't, but I know that I should pull all this off. I should pull all that fabric off and I should use them as templates and do it the right way. And you know what? I don't want to. I really don't. So I'm just gonna try <laughs> and do my best. And I probably am gonna be working harder because I don't wanna do the initial steps to get everything off to do it correctly. But then I keep telling myself, this is mine. I'm not selling it. It's okay. If I screw up, I screw up. You guys who are upholsters, bear with me because this is probably gonna make you moan and cry. And um, just, you know, bear with me, okay? I do not claim to be an upholster. Here we go. Side note, I absolutely do not wanna take a shower. I slept in these clothes. Her face, makeup, not doing it. So don't look here, okay? Just don't look. I figured that if I put the entire piece of fabric up here, I could pin it, line up that bottom portion because that already has a finished edge on it, and then work with the curvy part at the top. I used my staple gun to line up that finished edge right where I want it to be. I knew I wanted to be able to roll my fabric under to hide that unfinished edge before I stapled it down. I had no idea exactly where to cut, so I figured if I just used the top of the frame, went along with that, that hopefully I'd be in the right place. What do you know? That actually worked out pretty well. Sometimes we get lucky. Uh, 
Of the two quilts, this one is my favorite. So I want it to be the primary one. The more we, oh my God, you run on sentence, girl. These side pieces were a little more tricky. I thought, and it did work. I gotta say it did work, not perfect. But if I just tucked it under that back piece, then I would have like a finished edge. I could fold that little edge over there and there just happens to be a board right there. So I'm trying to staple that fabric to it. I did the same thing with this portion using the finished edge all the way down there in the front. Alexa, stop. Well, now it's time to do the pillows. I thought I'd be real smart. Use the shams, but they look pretty bad. I might just leave them. I don't know. But this one, I'm gonna try to do better. I'm gonna try. We'll see. We're in New Mexico, and even though this sofa sits under a covered porch, it doesn't really matter because our winds and our rains come from the side most of the time. I knew that I needed to be able to take these off and wash them because they will get really gross. And now my sewing machine is very angry with me. I only broke two needles in this process, but I got it done. And I'm so smart that I did this um, the wrong way. Look, it's inside out, whoops. That's okay, I just flipped it around. And the unfinished edges that are on the sides, I tucked them in. You can't even see them. Oh God, you know what? I was gonna use this upholstery tusk stuff and I don't have any, no, not enough to do it. So I think I'm gonna try to improvise and use this. This is absolutely not what this is for, but we're gonna try it. I don't know exactly what the proper purpose for this stuff is, but it worked out well, I think. Did have enough of this upholstery nail stuff to try to cover up the staples right here. God, it's so hard, guys. Why is everything gonna be so hard? Get, ah, oh, got it. Let's bring out a little bit of these details with some bronze gilding wax. When the weather is nice, this little sofa here gets so much use. This is where I have my morning coffee, where I hang out with my girls and my husband in the evenings. We really, really love our outdoor patio. And I gotta admit, I sleep out here quite often in the summer. Thank you guys for watching and let me know, have you ever thought to use old quilts to do something like this? I hadn't, it took me a minute. You wanna learn to make videos from your phone for YouTube. Head on over to Windmill Vintage Designs on Facebook. I have a class that's coming up May 1st.
Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And remember, only you can make it happen. For any of the products that I use in this video, you can find them at windmillvintagedesigns.com. You guys are awesome. See you next time.